Hey guys, um, today I'm gonna make a POV video of me driving the A7. I've been seeing them recently, like a lot of people been making POVs, so I'm like, why not hop on it? There she is, the A7, 2012 A7. Have a stage one tune and a cold air intake on it. You know, a non two, non two extra, you know. But yeah, one thing I wish that I had was is the um the steering wheel with the shifters so I could shift better. But yeah, that's all I got. So we're gonna do a cold start. Oh yeah, and I have a muffler delete also. Sounds pretty good. But yeah, I'm about to let it warm up and then I'm gonna catch y'all in the car. Peace. About to head out now. Let's gonna do a little cruise, you know. Just drive around town. I think I'm gonna hit up the highway. Then um I don't know. I'm just gonna drive and see where it brings us. Turn it back on. Why are you turning it off? It's fine. But yeah, um, honestly, I, when when I got the stage one tune, it wasn't. I felt I felt like a difference, but it wasn't like a big big difference. You feel me? Like I feel like the big difference like happened like the top end, like when I'm on the highway and like I'm trying to overtake. Like there's like a bigger difference. Like when I hit the gas, like I guess I would say like it spools up more. Now it's colder now, so you can like you can hear the um the supercharger more. It's cold out, but yeah, I wanted to get a transition transmission. <laughs> I said transition transmission tune, but um I don't know, maybe maybe my dream car is RS7 though, so we starting off with the A7 for now. It's kind of getting hot. Yes, sir. All right, these guys turning. All right, all right. Maybe I could do a launch at the stop sign up ahead. Audi, what is that? <laughs> A3. 
tire on my ATV, like the front left tire, I think it's punctured. I don't know like how we got punctured. It sucks. All right, better do a, a little launch right here. Coming to a stop. This man barely stopped at a stop sign. All right. One thing I don't like is that I know it's like it's probably the same thing with like every person who drives. Like when you just got the car, it's like it just hit different. You feel me? Then you just get used to the car. I'm not really like used to the car, but like the launch. Like when I just got the car, the launch felt so good before. But like you just be getting used to the launch. You feel me? So, but for others, when they get in the car, they're like, oh my god. Like my mom, I brought my mom in the car, and she was like, what the fuck? Busy out today. I wonder if you they can hear the supercharger. I hope they can hear it. Sounds a lot in person than over the phone, so yeah. This is like why now I wish I had a fucking um, this pattern shifters. Cause every time I got a shift, like I want to go in manual, I gotta go over here, put it in fucking sport, and then put it in the manual. And I gotta shift from the shifter. It's not bad, but you know I want to feel, want to feel sporty. But at the time when I was looking for A7s, I couldn't really find one. I saw this gray one, but. She loved the gray one, but I don't really like the gray one. The gray one was like, it has like an R7 um, grill on it. But I just like black because black reminds me of, I like the black, I like the A7s and the black and the white because they're like luxurious, you feel me? So the gray, it was like a darker gray, so I wasn't feeling the gray. Plus it was dirty as hell on the inside. And I like the option that you have the cool seat and the heated seat, so that's what I kind of wanted too, so. I mean, I didn't really, I wasn't really thinking about it till after like I got in the car and I saw it and I was like, damn, that's actually pretty cool that it had those features. Point three miles per gallon. Let me know why y'all like what one miles per gallon y'all be getting on yours. Cause I know a majority of y'all who probably watching maybe are looking to get an A7 or maybe has a have an A7. On average, like I'll be getting like 20, 25 miles per gallon when I'm driving. So yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll see. 
This is going on the Malik Codlin um, channel though. That could be for that could be a good other content as well. Alright, about to hit the highway up. I never really like I think I never really like um pushed the car yet that, that much, you feel me? I think I only gotten like like to like 120, 130. Push it on the highway. The engine. There's a cop right there. Nope, never mind. The good thing this car came in front. <laughs> I think a lot of people was wondering like what it sounds like on the highway with the muffler delete. I'm gonna put it back in drive. Um, it's not bad on the, on the highway at all. Like I think people were like one main thing what people were saying was that it drones, but it doesn't really drones a lot on the highway. It's when you like push the gas and then like go a little and hold it there. That's when it drones. Yeah. Like right now, I think it's in. Let me see. It's in seven. When I give it gas, you can kind of hear like a little rumble, but it's not, it's not like dramatic. It's like actually sounds good to me personally, but I know a lot of people probably don't like that type of sound. Cause you know, if you have a kid, you have family, you feel me, you don't want it to be too loud, but it's not bad for me personally. It sounds really good in the backseat. Whenever I, I've, sometimes you let her drive so I can be in the backseat so I can hear the, the little rumble. Man, maybe I could do a video like that, yeah. Another cop. Looks like it. Yep. And the cops are out today, huh? What speed on the like 80, 70? I think it's like 70. But again, I'm racing. Wagwan. He was looking at me, so I'm like, Wagwan. They out today, huh? Next exit, cause I'm about to take this exit. I think it's coming up. Uh, what is this? Exit 19. But yeah, overall, I would say, how much would you rate the A7 out of like 10? Compared to what car, or just based uh, on itself? Based on itself, cause I know we had based we had a itself, Nissan. Yeah, it's a it's pretty. A really good car, yeah. but I test I drove it one time. <laughs> I test drove a R7 one time. I, that, that thing was amazing, man. It was so nice. I would lucky wanted to make it louder, but I'm not sure because I don't want to be that obnoxious type of person. Plus, I was looking at YouTube and I saw a few people like do like um the resonator delay with the muffler delay and they put on like an X pipe, and it sounded like a bit obnoxious. You feel me? Especially because it's a V6. You know, like when when a lot of people I seen like a lot of people like do muffler deletes or like straight pipe and there should be sounding like like a trumpet. You feel me? So I don't want mine to be like a trumpet. It sounds good the way it is, but I low-key want like a bit more out of it, if that makes sense.
came here before, right? While we were going for the... So I can push it on the highway. truck stopped me so I couldn't even push it. Alright, thanks. But was the um the cake place again? Was it over which hospital again? Should I take this exit or should I take the other Valerica exit? I'm gonna just take this one. I guess. Because the other Valerica one is like so hard to get off the exit. Do you like see everybody be waiting whenever we like going on the highway? Damn, so I gotta take the other one. But good luck for me. No, no, I'm saying, is it this one that's coming out that we just got on? That we just got on? All right. Comment down below if y'all live in Atlanta and you got an A7. I've been hitting up. Yeah, I see him. I recently. Yeah, I'm straight. I went to um, what's it called again? I went to a meetup. Um, that was that was uh, where was it? I think it was Kinasaw. Yeah, Kinasaw meetup. Um, Audi, our Four Rings ATL. I'm in the group Four Rings ATL. They got a, like a little meetup. I didn't. Only one person was. I know. I know him. That's the only person I saw with it, like an A7. But everybody else had like. I saw one RS7. Everybody else got like the S5. I saw RS6. That that thing was clean. She don't like the RS6s. RS6 are really good. I mean, yeah. But to me personally, the RS6 look, looks really good. Once they're like, like they specked out and all that, like it looks really good. And there was this. What was it? What was that one called? The X. The Etron was lit. The Etron looked really good too. The Etron looked real good too. And the um. Is it an R7? Yeah, the yeah. black R7. And then they had the SQ5, I think, or RSQ5. I'm not sure. The guy who specked his out. That's on a not nice. But yeah, it was a little, little fun, fun, fun little POV for me driving the A7. Hope y'all enjoy and 
yeah comment down below if you want to see more of these i want i'm trying to get into it now i got the you know the little headset so i can make videos so hopefully y'all enjoy it and let me know if y'all want to see more and let me catch on the next one